Okay, let's get started with the second part of the Advanced Airway course. While we're waiting for the other video, how many of you have ever performed endotracheal intubation before? Raise your hand. Very good. Okay. Well, what, what we'll have is a chance to practice it in a protected environment where we get to go over all of the details and make sure that uh, you can ask questions, that you're doing it correctly. We can te we're going to teach you some tricks to make it easier. And as I mentioned, we are videotaping the lectures. So at the end, if there's something that you, if you like the lecture, if you want to watch it again to review the concepts, we'll, uh, URC will hopefully be able to make it available to all the participants. Okay, so step four in advanced airway management or endotracheal intubation is actual placement of the endotracheal tube. But chẳng chấm hiến tí buồn nó cứ cả đã xong ăn thịt bé đã phơ giang ná ao bàn trầm trâu. So you're going to position yourself at the head of the patient, at the top of the patient's head, just as you would if you were going to do the jaw thrust maneuver. But chẳng tầm khán cứ dương đã than ở phía bờ bao dương nấng nâu lơ có ba bờ bao nẹt chẳng ngứ phơ chia bờ biệp cho sát màn nâu vờ. If you have been providing bag mask ventilation or if the patient has an oral airway in place, you are going to remove it first. And then the next step is to use something called a scissors technique to open the patient's mouth. And Even if you are right-handed, you always hold the laryngoscope handle in your left hand. You're going to insert the laryngoscope blade into the right side of the mouth. And you're going to sweep the tongue to the left. So let's take a quick look at laryngoscope insertion. Again, you're going to insert the blade into the right side of the mouth, sweep the tongue to the left. That gets the tongue out of the way so you can see the vocal cords. And then you're going to slowly advance the blade along the tongue into the hypopharynx. 
bạn chẳng cứ dương run play nâng thầm thầm ta mà đòi đá cho tôi ở đó bằng phong trào này càng cao and you're going to continue as you're advancing it lifting the laryngoscope handle as you're looking down the blade hai dương bằng to lược là laryngoscope nút hai bắt đầu mới dương mở được nòng run nâng phong You're going to exert gentle traction at a 45 degree angle to the floor. Bạn chẳng ngờ dương tiền là răng của scope nó thơm thơm hay bà hai chị không mông sai giờ bán mà dương thiệp tờ nâng ất. And then you're going to elevate the mandible so that you can see the vocal cords. Bạn chẳng ngờ dương lực ăn kiêm láng hay rộng mơ vô khó khó. It's very easy to just bend the laryngoscope handle and blade and injure the teeth. But chẳng ở việc vừa ở miền ca nghe xíu luôn trong ca dùng tiếng là laryngoscope hay nâng ở play ở bao viên nó ai thừa bạn nó lừa thông mình. So you don't use the teeth as a fulcrum. You don't use the teeth as a place to rest the blade or angle the blade you're lifting up lifting up the handle and the blade chăng ở cứ dương lực la răng của scope lăng ham đạch khát cứ cả giọt thông thôi chứ cũng nào đảm bây cua as i mentioned before the curved blade the macintosh blade slides into the vollecula ba đờ đôi khi nhóm ở chấm riêng bị hàng đam chăng tha play để cáu cứ về chỗ từ con ngựa vallecula. The vallecula is the space between the base of the tongue and the epiglottis. Ba vallecula cứ chỉ cần lại mũi nơi chân lọ hở viên ăn đát hay năng epiglot. The straight blade or Miller blade goes underneath the epiglottis. Ba chấm pu hở play trăng vẫn cứ về ai chỗ Tàu trăng tàu đoàn epiglot tàu mà đoàn. When your laryngoscope is in the proper position and you provide proper traction, you should be able to see the vocal cords which are these white fibrous bands that the arrow is pointing to. Bạn đọc bếp đại dương ở đã là laryngoscope rồi có play rồi bỏ là laryngoscope cho bàn trầm trâu là ổ nó hay nâng lược bàn là ổ cư dương nâng khơi rôn môi đài bà hóng đài cư hào là rôn vô khó khó đài về miền chùm nội bò xo xo ní đài dương bơ tâu sẽ điên mọt cháp The glottis is or the glottic opening is the space between the vocal cords bà chẳng ở trên lo hở vô khó khó tiếng pí cứ dương hai ở cái lại nhờ plau xo là chậm hó this is the narrowest part of the adult airway bà ở ní chia plau xo là plau xo là mũi xem ra ở nè chừng như bên vậy your goal is to see the vocal cords with your eyes and pass the endotracheal tube between them bà chẳng ở dương mơ là vô khó khó đòi phê cho bà dương nó phê là dương khơi nháy cư dương sọc từ vô ăn thịt bê cho tao tại mà đón Sometimes it can be very difficult to see the vocal cords even though you have the laryngoscope and the blade in the correct position Bà chuông ca cư ca rộng mơ là vô khó khó nó vì riêng vì bà bản tách tục bay từ dương đã One trick or one tip you can use is something called the burp maneuver. But chẳng ở vậy đại dương phơ không ca chụp nuôi rọc mờ là rằng vô co co đội bàn trầm trâu cứ dương phơ tam rồi biết burp maneuver. The burp maneuver does not mean that you burp. Bạn ở bớp mà nó vỡ nó cứ mình mẹn bạn này thà ở dương ở phước bớp thế. It stands for backward, upward, rightward pressure. Bạn cứ vì chùm đuôi đòi biết ạ, backward, upward, rightward, nâng pressure. 
So you're going to grasp the thyroid cartilage. Và cứ ban đây tha cứ dương ở sừng cọt nó là khai khoai cắt lá. And you're going to apply backward, upward, rightward pressure. Và chẳng cứ dương sừng cọt chỗ nóng làng lơ tiền vào chùm hiền. And what that does is it puts the vocal cords into your view. Và chẳng bèo nó cứ viên thường thường ai vocal cord mơ khởi sử dụng. So once you can see the vocal cords and the opening between the vocal cords, the glottis, once you see the glottis, you hold the endotracheal tube with your right hand and you pass it between the vocal cords. And you don't pass the endotracheal tube down the laryngoscope guide. You enter through the right side of the mouth with direct visualization and pass the tube. You don't use the blade as a guide. But chẳng xôm cầm gió cờ play là laryngoscope này. So let's take a look at endotracheal intubation. Again, once you see the vocal cords under direct visualization, you can pass the endotracheal tube just beyond the vocal cords. Notice that the physician placed the endotracheal tube on the right side of the mouth and not down the blade. If you use the blade as a guide, you will lose sight of the vocal cords. It's very important to see the endotracheal tube passing through the vocal cords with your own eyes. Ideally, the cuff of the endotracheal tube should rest about two centimeters beyond the vocal cords. If you cannot see the vocal cords, you should never pass an endotracheal tube. Once the endotracheal tube is between the cords and into the trachea, you can remove the laryngoscope handle and blade with your left hand. But you never want to let go of the endotracheal tube with your right hand once you've placed it. And then, once you've removed the laryngoscope handle and blade, with your left hand, you want to pull out the stylet. And it's very important. You can see if you pull the stylet and the tube comes out, that's a problem. So you want to pull the stylet out without pulling the tube out. But chẳng đại 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 sẽ đám cư dương trâu tục song an tiệp bế tục đại tục là răng của scope đại thằng xoay chén hai dương dược đại thằng xoay dược một 
stylet đo đại snow này hay cái này dùng đo đại snow chẳng cứ là nghe việc tăng việc là ai nghe robot chẳng dùng thưa mấy tụp ở chuột hay còn ở đo stylet trên mỗi robot tiếng tự do so again you're going to hold the endotracheal tube with your right hand so it doesn't come out and pull the stylet out with your left hand bạn chẳng dùng thưa mấy dùng do đại snow dùng nó tụp song anti b nó ngồi chuột hay dùng đo snow đại snow trên mà and then you're going to attach a 10 cc syringe to the small port and inflate the cuff. Ba đai chăng dương pchuap sarang 10 cc đai bôm khsal đâm bai bañ bañ chol ỏi vi paung nơ khang chong lang. Typically you require about 5 to 10 milliliters of air into the cuff. Ba an chăng ka bôm khsal bañ chol nô kư dương ai bañ khsal pi 5 tơ 10 millilit ba. Once you've inflated the cuff, you can remove the syringe. Bạn chẳng nợ pêl đại dương ở bánh xa lo chô hói cư dương ách đọc xa ràng chanh mộc vinh. Then once the endotracheal tube is in place, the cuff is inflated, and the stylet is removed, you can have your assistant attach the bag mask device to this 15 slash 22 adapter on the end of the endotracheal tube. Bạn chẳng nợ phê đai là dương bánh xa là dương đọ xa nô là bật ấy bàn chụp là hãy dương ào ý chùm nuôi ca là bỏ dương nâng chùi chụp tàu nâng bà lòng ông bụng bác chẳng đàm bây dọc xa là. And then you can begin ventilating the patient and looking at their chest to see if it rises. Chẳng một tòa bị chụp hãy cứ dương ai sọc xa là bán hay dương sọc nó cứ dương mơ cho là nà là bỏ trúng rít bà ông rư gọ ọt. As I mentioned before, every endotracheal tube has centimeter markings on it. And as I mentioned, you want the cuff to rest about two centimeters past the vocal cords. And then you're going to look at the patient's lips to see how deeply the endotracheal tube has been placed. Typically in adult males, it's usually at 23 centimeters on the endotracheal tube. And typically in adult women, it's at 21 centimeters. A simple formula for remembering how deep an endotracheal tube should be in a child is three times the endotracheal tube size. But by jumpur kumaku jung a katatam tum hum doita bay. So if you were to place a 5 millimeter sized endotracheal tube, a 5-0 endotracheal tube into a patient, the depth of that endotracheal tube should be 15 centimeters. Bạn chẳng ở bà sân chi cô mà dụ pram chân nám hay bà vay tổng hôm bà vay pram chẳng con dương con tớ pram con nâng pram. Remember that these are Remember that these are guidelines. It's not always going to be 23 centimeters in a man. It's not always going to be 21 centimeters in a woman. But chăng ní chia guideline đây là cái đạm màu chăng bàn tay men group tiếng Oz trâu tay bờ rau mà phải bay sợi dây mà phải môi xong thì mệt như thế. What's more important is that you see with your eyes the cuff is two centimeters beyond the vocal cords. Step number five is proof. Proof that the endotracheal tube is truly in the trachea. Step number 
As I mentioned, it's possible that the tube can be placed into the esophagus. If you place the tube in the esophagus and you don't recognize it, it can be deadly for the patient. So proper placement of the endotracheal tube needs to be checked every single time you do an endotracheal intubation. If the tube passes into the esophagus, there can be very, very serious complications, things such as hypoxemia or low oxygen in the blood, bradycardia, cardiac arrest can happen, you can fill the stomach with air, and then if that fills with air, the patient can have regurgitation and aspiration. Esophageal intubation occurs anywhere from 6 to 16% of endotracheal intubations. So it is going to happen. The most important thing is to recognize it and remove that endotracheal tube. So let's take a look at a video and you can see how sometimes it might be difficult to distinguish the trachea from the esophagus. The structure that you see below is the esophagus. The structure above is the trachea. And you can see the vocal cords. So it's very important that you recognize the vocal cords, recognize the glottic opening, and pass the tube into the correct position. There are three ways that we make sure the endotracheal tube is in the right position. The first is clinical assessment. The second is pulse oximetry. And the third is the detection of exhaled carbon dioxide. That is when the patient is breathing out, we're detecting carbon dioxide. These are all the clinical signs of proper endotracheal intubation. And they include, the most important one is seeing the endotracheal tube with your own eyes pass between the vocal cords. Hearing clear and equal breath sounds when you listen over each lung field. Then 
the absence of breath sounds when you listen over the stomach. You should not hear anything in the stomach. Symmetrical or equal chest rise every time you ventilate the patient. And then finally, fogging or condensation, the steam that you see within the endotracheal tube. It's very important to remember that all of these ways that we look to see that the tube is in the right position can fail. So that's why we never confirm endotracheal intubation with clinical signs alone. As I mentioned, sometimes the endotracheal tube can end up in the esophagus. And so what are some ways that we know that it's in the esophagus? What are some clinical signs of esophageal intubation? If you don't hear clear and equal breath sounds, if there's an absence of breath sounds, that is worrisome for an esophageal intubation. If you hear gurgling or sounds in the stomach when you're ventilating the patient, that is, a con that is worrisome for esophageal intubation. If you see food or gastric contents within the endotracheal tube, that is worrisome for esophageal intubation. And if it's very difficult to ventilate the patient, if their lungs feel very stiff, it's hard to push the air in, that is also worrisome for esophageal intubation. So as I mentioned, we look for clinical signs first to make sure the endotracheal tube is in the trachea. Another method is to check the patient's oxygen saturation with a pulse oximeter before and following intubation. The pulse oximeter measures the patient's oxygen saturation and pulse rate. As I mentioned before, if we pre-oxygenate the patient before the intubation, their oxygen level can remain high even though we may have performed an esophageal intubation. So don't rely on oxygen saturation alone to determine if the patient has an esophageal intubation. But 
môn nâng cao cứ ai đã xa ốc dân là ố hay hay chấm phút nè chấm ngư môi chấm nuôn cứ cầm hạp ốc dân không chiếm ai mình bật cọt chạp bàn In some patients who are cold or in shock or have poor perfusion you may not be able to get a good you may not be able to detect their oxygen saturation Bạn chẳng ngờ chấm phút nè chấm ngư môi chấm nuôn đây là cọt thuần thuần cứ chẳng cá mình ai chạp ốc dân nó không chiếm nâng bàn thì The final way of ensuring that the endotracheal tube is in the right position is to detect exhaled or end tidal carbon dioxide. Bạn vị thí xa mùi tiết đàm bây đăng bì đặc biệt bằng chạy bàn chạy bàn nó cứ ca vua y thi CO2 mà nhưng mà. This is a colorometric end tidal CO2 detector. Bạn ấy chia được biếp vô, mà xin mà bắt đạp vô hả CO2 nữa. And it is placed between, it is placed between the endotracheal tube and the bag mask device. Bạn chẳng cứ viếp chú hợp chú mùi ăn đồ trạc kia súp chú mùi nâng xong chú mùi nâng bắt đạp sọc chá. And as you can see in the video, if there is exhaled carbon dioxide, The color will change from purple to yellow, purple to yellow. Chẳng đọc bê là dương khơi miên là các bạn đi ọc xái, cứ dương đừng khơi nhờ viên đừng đồ bò bì xoái tàu lương vầy. And this should be checked for six ventilations after intubation. Bạn ní cứ dương trâu thơ bà mùi đoàn bằng tòa bì ca đạc xong ăn thịt bê hài. The final step in endotracheal intubation is post-intubation management. But chấm hiên trong cày ní cứ ca cướp cong cày đã sống. The first step is you want to secure the endotracheal tube. You want to tape the endotracheal tube so that it doesn't pull out. But tìm mũi cứ dương tàu bắt ở y thi thi ở chỗ áp chấm mũi nâng ở bong sắt đảm bảo cà pê cầm ao việt bột chén. You want to repeat the vital signs. Yung trau pinat rok mer sa nhà chi vat lang vang. And if you detect bradycardia, you want to be worried about esophageal intubation. Chang ba ka nay da yung da chow la khong esophá chang ku vi ai nung thoi prat di ka dia. If the patient develops hypertension or an elevated blood pressure, you want to be worried about inadequate sedation. Bạn chẳng bà sân chi nẹ chẳng ư miên lơ chiếm dân chương sẵn dân cất hạp hai chiếp mô bì ca pra thân nằm dân đồng khăn bế. And if the patient develops hypotension or a low blood pressure, you want to be worried about a tension pneumothorax. Bạn chẳng bà sân chi sẵn biết chiếm cho tiếp với nó cư dân ai cất hạ đòi xa miên tension pneumothorax. After endotracheal intubation, it is always advisable to get a chest X-ray. But when top pika da hai nu mui tiet kue ka thot X-ray de le suot ma dong ma dong tiet. Also at that time, you can also administer sedation medications or pain medications. But ru ko jeung a cho pra tham dam bay dam bay thua san dam. And in some cases, we'll put an orogastric or nasogastric tube in to reduce the size of the stomach, to suck all the stomach contents out. Một tiết cư dương A chờ đạc xong nasogastric tube, rồi có orogastric tube. Đảm bây bằng thoi xong biết nó không có bé. Again, it's very important to tape the tube securely in place. Bạn mà đoàn tiết cư ta ca... If somebody moves the patient, it's very easy if the tube is not secured for the tube to come out. Bạn chẳng bảo sân chỉ dương bật ọt chỗ hợp thế nợ bê đà là kê lược nẹ chứng ư rư có prai nẹ chứng ư ấy cư vi ạch đằng nghe ai tự dô nụ rụt bột chanh mọc rào bán. And once the tube comes out, it may be very difficult to re-intubate the patient. Bạn chẳng bà sân chia từ vô nó chanh một cái nào hãy cư dương nâng bị bạc nông ca sọc xong mà đoàn tiền này. 
So we never let go of the endotracheal tube with our right hand until it's securely taped into place. Chúng cho cùng tuân à đo đai trên PET nâu đai kháng sẽ đam rộ bỏ nẹ rồi hốt đo bê nẹ bật bóng sẵn hời. Ok, let's finish up with just a few cases. So, following endotracheal intubation, breath sounds are absent bilaterally and here is the chest x-ray. What could be wrong? Bạn chẳng lâu ní ở mê riêng ní bằng nắng bằng tay dương xông lược do cả này Okay, gastric tension. Actually, if you look at the x-ray, you can see a number of things. One is that the stomach is very large and filled with air. How could that happen? Well, if the endotracheal tube is in the esophagus and you ventilate the patient, you can get a lot of air in the stomach. Also, if you look at the tip of the endotracheal tube, it's very deep. It's beyond the carina. So this is a case of or, or esophageal intubation. Okay, let's look at the next case. Following endotracheal intubation, breath sounds are only heard on the right side of the chest. And here is the x-ray. What could be wrong? If we look carefully at the x-ray, we can see that the endotracheal tube is beyond the carina and is in the right main stem bronchus. And that the right lung is hyperinflated compared with the left lung. So this is a case of a right main stem intubation. That is, the endotracheal tube was passed too far into the trachea and now has ended up on the right side. And our final case, following endotracheal intubation, breath sounds are decreased on the left side of the chest and here is the chest x-ray. What could be wrong? If we look at this x-ray on the left side, what we can see is that there is air surrounding the lung on this side that is not within the lung. And so this patient has a pneumothorax. So let's review the six steps in endotracheal intubation are preparation, pre-oxygenation, positioning the patient, placing the endotracheal tube, proving that the endotracheal tube is in the right location, and then post-intubation management. Thì 
And that is the end of the lecture. Thank you very much for your attention, and thank you very much to Savanra for an excellent job uh, translating. But Nijaka my job Mary and hi hi Kim Som Okun Alu Lux Rai that band your chat to that snap, hiding some Okun Swanra that band bought by Yang Law.